What is going on by Dan and Fletcher checking out Lorna Shore, Pain Remains, Part 1, Dancing Like Flames. Whoa. There's three parts to this, I see. I'm about to check out all three. This comes from Kelly. Appreciate you as always. If you guys have any requests, just hit me up. Okay. I hope there's like a storyline that, that connects all three. It is possible that it's just three different, like similar songs, but I'm hoping like there's an actual like connection here. Let's check this out. Dancing Like Flames. Like, is this going to be an emotional song from Lorna Shore? The title seems like it. Maybe. Well, maybe. Are we going to get clean vocals from Will Ramos here? I I've been asking that for ages, hoping that, they that he would at some point. I'll say this. If he doesn't hear, then he probably just never will. And it's just something you want to sure just will never do. But, the, but by the tone of that first 35 seconds, this is our best shot. This has got to be our best shot. Yeah, it's got to be our best shot. I'm getting excited. No. Uh-oh. Chances are going down quickly. Woo! God damn! This is already one of my favorite music videos of the year. And it's so simple. It's not a lot. Just put Lorna Shore, especially Will Ramos, in a fucking thunderstorm in the background. Done.
Damn. Definitely the heaviest emotional song I have ever heard. It's not close. Oh. The three parts are just one long song. They actually are one long song. Oh. Well, good thing I'm checking out the second part immediately. <laughs> good thing. Well, I would lose my shit. Whoa. That shit. Wow. Wow. And okay, we're not getting clean vocals from Will Ramos and Lorna Shore. That's fine. That is fine. That gave me legitimate goosebumps. From like the eyebrows down were in chills. That was holy shit. A world without you was not meant for me. I just went. Fucking hairs on my legs just stood up. That was that was crazy. Even with it being as harsh as harsh vocals get, and about as heavy as a Song can get, you know, this is like a 9 out of 10, something like that. Lorna Shore's, you know, they, they eat suns, sun eater. They melt. But that still, even with it being ridiculously heavy song, double pedal throughout, emotional as hell, especially that solo, that, that was a fantastic song. It was. It wasn't like a technically difficult one. It wasn't here to like just just shred. It was there to tell kind of a story. That was an emotional, almost tear jerking guitar solo. Let's go. To, let's go to part two, man. I got. I got. I, I got to go to part two immediately. Let me know what you guys think down below. Let's check out part two immediately. Holy shit. What is going on, buddy? Dan Unfiltered, and I just heard Lorna Shore part one of Pain Remains, so we're moving directly to part two. After all I've done, I'll disappear. <sighs> part one gave me chills, man. That was... That was rough, but but also very beautiful. Like That was crazy. A weird dynamic of, like, super heavy, but, but fucking emotional. Let's check this out. Lorna Shore, this comes from Kelly. You guys have any requests? Hit me up. Oof. 
first of all, just before we get deep in the song, nice. The video, the first one was uh like just a thunderstorm and it was pouring rain. This one, it's snow now. Just, I just like the connection. Definitely a connection. Not just obviously the music videos are connected, but song-wise connected. It's like the stages. The first song was when he was losing his love. This is how he feels afterwards. This is brutal and brilliant at the same time. I'm on a fucking shore, man. I like a band that's not just heavy. You got layers, bro. You got layers.
talk. This shit is fucking wild, bro. Shit is wild, man. He literally got my fucking eyes tearing up. Lord of Shore? What? <laughs> Whoever thought Lord of Shore would be a band that got me fucking tearing up? What is going on? I don't know, man, but I need more of this from Lord of Shore. I like this. I like this. We got one part left. <sighs> part one. Loss. The act of it actually happening. Part two. Not being able to accept the loss. Not being okay. Being Feeling completely alone. Even when you're here, you feel like you're a ghost. Nothing matters. I don't fucking matter without this person. Now it's like, not only have I disappeared, like, figuratively, but now he's, tr maybe actually, maybe I should actually just disappear. Whoo! Man. The, I got, before I give my full details, we gotta go to the part three. We gotta see how this ends. Gotta see how it ends. Fuck cliffhangers. Let me know what you guys think down below. Let's go on to part three. Yo, part three of Lorna Shore's Pain Remains. This is in a sea of fire. Part one and two, absolutely beautiful. In every, in every fucking way. Man, we'll talk about when this is over. Let's see how this ends, man. I'm pumped. This comes from Kelly again. If you guys have any requests, hit me up. Damn, man. Absolutely brutal. I'm kind of like, I'm kind of like shaking up right now. Those first two, crazy. Rain, snow, fire.
Damn. of this song is completely different than the first two. This one's more angry, which I, I'll, if it's, as long as it keeps going like this, and I, I'm right, I'll have like my like theories at the end, but this one's definitely more angry, and of course, fire, anger, first one, rain, usually like, it's like sadness, you know, it's raining, it's always raining, and you're sad, snowing, it's like, the coldness of being alone, that type of thing, because he just lost her. Man, let's let's fucking go. Details. Lorna fucking shore. Got layers. What the hell is he doing?
Yo. Don't. This motherfucker, man. Wow. Wow. <laughs> wow. And it couldn't have been ended any better. When I heard it, I was like, don't say another fucking word, bro. That's how it has to end. That's how it has to end. He tied all the he tied all the song titles or the th the three song titles together at the end. Dancing was it dancing like flames? Oh my god. That was just so smart. <laughs> After all I've done, I'll disappear. I think he added Insult the earth. I think that was I think that was added in a and I'll disappear in a sea of fire. That's just that's another level of like songwriting. To, to add the three song titles like that? Oh man. I mean technically he probably wrote the full thing first and it just happened to end that way, so then he probably took from that and named the three parts. That'd be my guess, but who knows? Either way, it's fucking brilliant. Either way, whichever, either way. Wow. Yeah, and it was just, it, talk about them being connected. They were definitely connected. At the, before the first one, I was like, hopefully the trilogy is connected. Sometimes, like, uh, Dance Gavin Dance had a trilogy, I think. I think it was three or four. And the videos were connected, but the songs had, like, nothing to do with each other. These were clearly just one big song that they chopped in three pieces to make the I guess the videos more digestible is you know so it's not a big 20 minute R. Kelly in the closet fucking video wow that was outstanding this don't like to use the M word very often this is a masterpiece obviously going on the playlist that's a masterpiece not like this portion the whole thing because technically you don't by the way it was put together, that it's one long thing. I don't give a shit if they chopped it in three for YouTube. It's clearly one long thing. Meant to be one long, full thing. And that's a masterpiece. Songwriting, A+. Plus. The music itself, A+. Plus. And I love how... Oh, shit, man. I would love to hear it. Oh, man. I need to hear it all as one... Without the breaks. I want to hear how it fucking... Transitions into the different parts. Because it... The tone of the songs do change. They change. Especially the third one. The third one is pure... Pure fucking anger. That he couldn't... like he, that he, he does, He's like pissed off that she was taken from him. Like, fuck this world. I'd rather fucking die. And in the video, he, they clearly showed it. He tried, to, he tried multiple ways. First way didn't work. It's so, alright. I'm going to make sure the job gets done. I'm going to burn everything that has to do with either of us together and just basically be cremated in our shit, in our stuff. Salt the earth and be buried in, in fire.
There's so much to take that take in about all three of these and this. My God, my God. I think to the Hellfire. That's what it's called, right? To the Hellfire is their best song. Love to the Hellfire, but this is clearly and not close their fucking masterpiece. I don't even think it's saying, I was going to say I'll go on a limb. I don't think it's going out on a limb to say they're never topping this. What? Starring someone named Pink Lloyd. Just, sorry, caught my eye. (laughs) Pink Lloyd. Just caught my eye. (laughs) I like it. But anyway, uh, yeah. I don't think they're topping this, no matter what they do. How could they? In terms of piece of music, again, you could, I, I prefer To the Hellfire as a song, but as just, that was beautiful, it was bone chilling, and then the video too, couldn't have been any better. It could not have been any better. Not just the actor they got, and the, but also using the elements of rain, which to me, clearly showed sadness and loss. Snow, cold, snowstorm. It's like you're fucking alone. And the third, fire, obvious. Fucking pissed that she was taken. And now you're just going to do anything. You're, you're done. You're done. I'm doing whatever it takes to get back. To try to get back to her. There's no reason to still be here without her. That is crazy. What a fucking tragedy this video and song was wow I'm done I, I, I had a list of other songs I was going to listen to today I can't do it now I'm, I'm a, I should have if I would have known it was going to be like this I would have I would have this would have been the last one for my for the day I would have done this last instead I did it first because <laughs> now I'm mostly fucked up any song I listen to next by anybody will just will have an unfair stigma because I'll still be like thinking about this because I'm about to listen to this a bunch. Holy shit. Let me know what you guys think down below. Even the, even the guitar solo tone was drastically different for the third song. The first two, very emotional, especially the first one. This one, the solo was fast paced, technically difficult and angry. And way more the 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 classic Will Ramos deep animalistic uh, harsh vocals. Way more in the third than the other two. Again, anger. Wow. Not enough words can be said. That was that was outstanding. And it's one of those rare things where it's like once you hit play, you're never gonna get this feeling, not quite ever again. Like, I can listen to it as many times as I want, and I'm going through a lot. It'll never hit me quite the same as right now for the first time. That was... Perfectly done. Perfectly done. In a sea of fire, pain remains. Mm.